Trains and buses, games and songs, come join us and sing along. Transit Talks is where I'll be, the coolest place in NYC. Welcome to Transit Talks. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Transit Talks. My name is Dana, and I work at the New York Transit Museum, a museum in Brooklyn, New York, where we talk about all things transit and how we get from place to place. Now, every week for Transit Tots, we like to sing the hello song. And we like to sing the hello song to get to know how we're feeling. So how are you feeling right now? I think I'm feeling strong. So I'm going to sing the hello song about feeling strong. And I hope you join in with me. We're going to sing on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm strong, I'm strong, look how my muscles grew. Nice job. Let's sing it for a second time on the count of two. One, two. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm strong, I'm strong, look how my muscles grew. Ooh, I feel real strong now. Look at these muscles. We're gonna be needing those muscles because today we're gonna be doing some archeology. span But what is archeology? span Archeology, span to put it simply, is the study of old objects. Something that is old means that it was made a long time ago. While something that is new was made maybe just the other day. But can we tell the difference between something that's old and new? Let's take a look. Here we have two helmets. Good to wear when building subway tunnels. Which helmet is old and which one is new? Point to the one you think is old. This is the old helmet. Why do you think it's old? Point to clues on the helmet that make it look old. The helmet is dirty, it has scratches, and the stickers are peeling off. These all show that it's old. The new helmet is shiny, clean, has no scratches, and the stickers aren't peeling. And that's how we can tell it's new. Now that we have a good idea of what old and new are, let's take a look at some cool archeology span that happened when making our subway tunnels. The people who build subway tunnels are called sand hogs. When sand hogs were building the tunnels for the A-Line 100 years ago, they were surprised to find a mastodon skeleton in the dirt. Take a close look at this picture. What do you think a mastodon may have looked like a long time ago? A mastodon is very similar to a woolly mammoth. They both look like elephants, have long tusks, and when they were alive, they had a lot of hair. The mastodons that the sand hogs found is said to have been 10,000 years old. Just think, 10,000 years ago, before we had people walking along the street, we had mastodons wandering along Dykeman Street. Now that we've learned a little bit about subway archaeology, let's do a little archaeology ourselves. We're going to make our own dig bins. For this, we will need a large bowl, a bin, flour, oil, measuring cups, and artifacts. Artifacts are objects made by humans, like you or me. Objects can be many things, but today we're gonna focus on objects that are small. So this can be coins, jewelry, toys, really anything. Just make sure that these are objects you don't mind getting dirty. You can also add ecofacts. Ecofacts are natural objects like sticks, rocks, 
plants, and shells. Anything that you would naturally find on the ground. Once we've gathered our artifacts, we will need to make the dirt for our dig. To do this, take out the bin, the flour, and the oil. Many types of oil work for this, including canola oil, olive oil, and baby oil. I like to use oils that are edible. The amount of flour and oil will depend on the size of your container. The ratio is one-fourth a cup of oil for every two cups of flour. Pour the flour and oil into the bin and mix it together with your hands. When properly mixed, it should look and feel a little like damp beach sand and make clumps. Don't be shy about adding more oil if it's not getting clumpy. If you want it to look a little bit more like dirt, feel free to add spices like cinnamon, paprika, parsley, turmeric, and dill. It will make it look and smell amazing. But if you want to save your spices, you can do without this step. Move most of your dirt into the large bowl and grab your artifacts. Place some of your artifacts into the bin to make a first layer. This is the deepest layer of your dig, meaning this is where the oldest artifacts usually are. Add another layer of dirt and some more artifacts. This layer would have newer artifacts in a real archeological dig. Keep adding layers of dirt and artifacts until the container is full. It's time to be an archaeologist and dig, but hold on, we need to grab our tools. Archaeologists don't always have fancy tools. Many bring objects from home to dig. Archaeologists often use shovels and brushes. You can use a spoon as a shovel, and you can use paint and toothbrushes. Now, as you dig, go slow. Remove your dirt bit by bit using your shovel spoon. If you want to keep your dirt to play with later, you can scoop it into a jar. When you find an artifact, resist the urge to grab it, and instead change to your brush to wipe the dirt away so you don't scratch it. Archaeologists usually take a picture of the artifact so they know what layer it was in to indicate how old the object is. Then, once properly recorded, they take the artifact out for cleaning. Enjoy your dig! I hope you find really cool artifacts. When you're done taking your artifacts out, clean them with your brushes. While you're cleaning, try to come up with an explanation for that artifact or eco-fact. Did the jewelry belong to a queen? Was that coin used to buy a chocolate bar? Did that shell come from the ocean? Have fun with it. That is the end of today's Transit Tots. Today, we got to learn about archeology span and how it studies old objects. We also got to explore some archeological finds while digging the subway. We made our own dig bins and we explored the artifacts and eco-facts that we found inside. I actually kept my dig bin dirt so that I could be an archaeologist another day. Thank you for joining me for Transit Tots, and I hope to see you at more in the future. Goodbye now. Trains and buses, games and songs, come join us and sing.